At times when many of our resources are research that's done in the past by um, non-indigenous linguists within the community, um, and not to um, not to to um, discredit the work that they've done. But much of the language research that has been done in the past um, has looked at language um, primarily almost as a dictionary format or as, um, as, a, as a reference format. And um, these studies, um, even though they're direct, well, what were thought as direct translation of, translations of words um, often are um, because of the language barrier with the um, individuals that they were consulting with, that information was um, based on the English dialect, which doesn't always interpret it, our languages as we understand them. I've spoken English all my life, and my, um, my education has been a mainstream education. So my industrious mind that has been developed um, through those teachings um, didn't always think under the umbrella of my family's traditional teachings. And so it, it came to a place where, you know, um, one, I had to unlearn um, some of the things within my um, schooling and my education. And another, I've had to learn how to reaffirm as well um, the indigenous teachings of my family as well. And so it's just, you know, something that further enhances my teachings as well. Tesluk. Tom Sampson is um, his name originated from the um, Malahat or Matlahat, um, um, of Dalnuk, um the Malahat people, and so his name comes from that territory, and we would refer to that as his Nahamet, which is um, his um, his Indian name, his land tenor, his resources. And I'll go into that further. And my father is um, Yahuelapten which um, is from our family in the Sinchathan community, the Saanich community. But also Yehuelipton, that name, is also shared on the mainland with the um, Musqueam um, families as well. And I believe in Stolo country as well, there's someone that owns that name. So that explains perhaps roots that our family had taken in the past and where our relations come from as well or perhaps trade routes that existed in the past as well. And so our Nehemet explains not only where our family is from, but also explains where our family's traditions and our rights come from as well.